Hi, I'm Andy Weinberg with Miller Welders. Today we're with Scott Duggins at PAR Racing Engines out of Spartanburg, South Carolina. Today we're going to uh, fix this block, this uh, billet aluminum block, and it's got a, what we call a window in it. What has happened is through the rod out the side and broke this oil pan rail out. So what we'll do, we'll remove this whole oil pan rail, machine this back, machine another piece to go back in here, fix it back good as new. We'll be using the Dynasty 350 and the Miller Weldcraft W225 modular torch. All right, now that we have the bad spot cut out of this block right here, if this would have been a load bearing place as like in a cylinder wall, I would fill it all up with filler metal. But since it's not, we made us a little patch to go in here and we will be welding a root pass inside out and then we're gonna cap it. And I'll stop after, after I weld maybe an inch or two and we'll beat the thing down like the back side of this body hammer and just dips up the material, the filler metal that we put in it. So you're basically peening it somewhat so that the soft aluminum can drive itself yes, sir. into that area. The first thing we're gonna do with this job is we're gonna change our Miller Weldcraft W225 modular TIG torch from our previous job to this one. We're gonna change the small head that we used inside the chamber of a cylinder head, we're gonna change this head out to a larger one that will handle more amperage that we need for this job. To change the head, it's simple. All you have to do is unscrew the head and replace it with the bigger head. Now we're ready to weld the thicker material without compromising the smaller head, which this would burn up if we use 300 amps of power on it. Also, Andy, to weld this patch without preheating this block with this half inch aluminum, I'll be using the Dynasty 350 also. Now let's go to the Dynasty 350 settings. For this job, we're gonna take our machine and we're gonna be turning the amperage way up. I'm gonna start with my EN, or my electrode negative setting. Of the AC wave shape, the EN is what puts the heat into the weld piece. I'm gonna turn that EN all the way up to 350 amps. My EP, or electropositive side of the AC, is what cleans the oxides off the aluminum. It also puts a lot of unused and unnecessary heat on the tungsten and on the head of the torch. I'm gonna to turn my EP setting down to about 225. Okay. That gives me an average amperage of welding power for this block of right around 300 amps. My balance, which is also a function of cleaning the oxides off the aluminum, is going to be set at 60%, and my AC frequency is going to be a little bit higher for that root pass. I want the higher the number, the tighter the arc, that's going to help me drive that power into that narrow root pass area to get full penetration. We're going to be running that anywhere around 130 to 140. So we'll set ours around 135. Okay. So now we finished our root pass on both the inside of the patch of the block and on the outside. So now we're only going to really make one adjustment on our machine and that's we're going to lower the output frequency. We finished welding in the patch on this block. Now if you take a look at the weld, you'll notice that it looks a little beat up. And that's because, again, we talked about welding a little bit and then peening it with a hammer, welding and then peening. And what that does is when you're welding a little bit and peening it while it's still hot, that helps stress relieve that area and it helps reduce the draw that's happening on the weld while it's cooling. That's pretty much completes the patch job. From here, what we'll do is we'll go in there, put this thing in the mill, and remachine right back over that so it'll look just like the rest of it. So basically it'll look almost like there's just never like been a patch there. Never been never been one there. 
For more information on the Dynasty 350 or the Miller W225 Modular TIG Torch, check out MillerWelds.com. <music>